today's topic of discussion is truncus arteriosus okay guys so let's start a discussion on this and before starting I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends truncus arteriosus it's nothing but it's a persistent truncus okay let me draw a diagram and explain you okay so there is a single arterial trunk that emerges from the ventricles okay let me draw over here think that this is a, okay and this emerges like this this is a right atrial okay this is a septum okay this is a tricuspid this is a right ventricle left ventricle and left atria okay so single atrial trunk that emerges from the ventricles supplies the what you call the coronary pulmonary and systemic circulation okay so this is what the truncus arteriosus is so what's the pathophysiology this truncus arteriosus you can see over here it overrides the VSD okay truncus overrides the VSD this is a VSD okay and it overrides the VSD the wall has two three or four leaflets and usually a poorly functioning okay right so what are the signs and symptoms how the patient presents remember this is presented in the what you call them um, symptom usually occur within the first few weeks of the life first few weeks of the life okay initial the patient will have left to right shunt so left to right shunt means the patient will not have any sinuses right if the pulmonary vascular pressure increases or resistance increases then it will shift from right to left shunt and that causes a sinusis okay so from if there is a shunt from left to right the patient will have dyspnea frequent respiratory respiratory tract infection and failure to thrive okay if pulmonary vascular resistance increases what happens the back pressure increases the pressure in the right ventricle increases this will push the deoxygenated blood again into the left ventricle and from the left ventricle through the pulmonary truncus arteriosus reaches the all over the body and causes sinusis right good the second heart sound is prominent remember and there is a single and it is single due to single seminal wall and it's single okay the peripheral pulses are strong okay the peripheral pulses in these patients are strong okay and you can hear a murmur that's a systolic injection click systolic injection click okay guys so if you take a chest x-ray what do you expect of course a cardiomegaly right this will increase because of the pressure this ventricles will increase and shows cardiomegaly and the other important feature is increased pulmonary vascular marking Okay, guys. That's a brief discussion about uh, um, truncus arteriosus. What's the treatment? The surgery must occur before the patient develops significant pulmonary vascular resistance, vascular disease. Why? Because if you delay in the surgery, 
means once the back pressure is developed the resistance increases in the uh, in the what you call pulmonary arteries uh, there will be a mixing of blood from a deoxygenated to the oxygenated in the left ventricle so to prevent this we do surgery and usually the age of the baby will be 3 to 4 months okay guys so VSD is surgically closed leaving the wall on the left ventricular side this is the VSD right okay the pulmonary arteries are freed from the truncus and are connected to a valve conduit that is known as rastelic procedure rastelic procedure rastelic procedure okay guys so this is all about the brief discussion about the truncus arteriosus thank you so much for watching this video take care